Hello everyone, my name is Fernando And my name is Kadir And uh, we're going to make Mario Bros uh, We're going to make some, uh, to show how to use some uh, tools using Imagine Shape Okay, so first uh, I'm going to go through the tools And then uh, Fernando will just go through by applying them to the body of Mario So first, you can see as, uh, where the cursor is on the bottom right We have the box tool and that's basically the shape that you would use. So for the head, we're going to use box. You can use cylinder, and then you can use sphere. You can use pyramid, and at the very bottom, last you got towers. So we're going to use a box for Mario. When you click on box, a box appears, and this is actually an imaginary shape. It's actually a surface. It's not a solid. So you can click on the surfaces, and uh, as you see, your axis will move to it. Now the toolbar, the tools palette that came up there, uh, it will have. Di several different icons, and the, the one that's highlighted right now is translation. So it's just a demonstration of translation. You click on the surface and you can drag it up and down, it just translates the body in, any, in the direction that you've chosen. Then you see the curve uh, there, it can move, uh, it'll translate the surface on both axes that it's on, right? Basically, Y and Z, or X and Z, whichever one you choose. Then, if you choose the, the rotate option, which is that one, you can rotate that surface in the, any direction that is highlighted. So that's, that's an example. And uh, another tool that we can sh I can show you is the uh, Affinity tool. Affinity tool is a, is a big, uh, very strong, powerful tool as you can choose two surfaces and then you can move it in both directions. And there's an example of it. So you can move it in either direction and up and up and side, any, any, way, any direction you would choose. You can also use the, um, the attraction tool which is as Fernando will show you now. If you select the whole box, is, you can there's a scale that appears on the right, and the more lower you go, it just curves the whole entire shape to with all the corners. All right. The next tool is the sharp attraction tool. If you click on sharp attraction, and it just what it does is it just curves all the corners in the, by default by a small curvature. And that tool, which is the, the face cutting tool. The face cutting tool is very important as if you click a line uh, anywhere on the body, like for example that, it subdivides the entire body into different subsections and you can choose which how many subsections you want by the scale. The more subsections you have, the better as you can manipulate the body even more. But for now, we're just going to do two or three and after you select whatever, you have to select the enter button. So click however subject, subsections you want and then you click enter. Once that is done then it selects and if you click two then it selects three subsections, creates three subsections. Okay, so to first make Mario uh, we have to come up with a box. Pretty much everything in Imagine Shape it starts with a box. It's a box or a cylinder. The other parameters are for special surfaces. So we first click on the box and it comes out of box and we're going to uh, make the face, so we're going to subdivide to so make a uh, subsections of the of of our solid. Uh, actually, this is not a solid. This is a surface of our uh, of our body, and uh, we're gonna click on uh, face cutting. We click on face cutting, and I will select two subdivisions. I'll click it now. Um, I'll double click this and uh, I'm gonna make another face cutting actually you can make as many face cutting as you want you can just have to to keep the control key on so I'm still make uh, as, as you can see on the scale there's a number two which means that it's making two lines one and two so I'm gonna hit enter and uh, now I'm going to select <coughs> now I'm, uh, I'm going to select the uh, this uh, squares and I'm gonna give some shape to the face. I'm gonna go to the translation tool and uh, I'm going to extrude it. Well, actually, I'm going to uh, give some thickness uh, to the lower part of the, of the head. I'm gonna use the translate what, the translate key. And uh, the also, I'm gonna move this lines a little bit up. So I just go to the line tool and uh, 
flag on the z to, on the z axis. I'm going to do the same here. And uh, I'm going to go to Attraction and uh, select this tool, which is All Element Selection. And I'm going to scale it all the way down to zero. Uh, another, the one thing that I like from my unit shape is that you can insert as many subdivisions as you want. So I'm going to select Sphere. And since scenario is uh, nose is pretty much a sphere, I'm just going to select the sphere. Uh, one particular thing that Mario I can actually have the, what, the the model done here is the M. As you can see, it has an M on it has an M uh, an M on, on, on his on his hat. So to make an M, uh, this is pretty, uh, this is a tool uh, that will help you pretty much in all your on, on, in all of your projects. Uh, We'll start with the box. And uh, let's uh, make it a smaller. And we're gonna make some face cutting. Actually, four is okay. We hit enter. And now uh, I will select only this one this size. Actually, uh, I'm going to select uh, this propagation tool, which is really helpful. I'm going to select it. Uh, what this tool does is uh, it selects the interior of the lines. So, I will just move it down. And now I'm going to extrude only these two surfaces. This one, I'll hit enter. And this other one. I select. Uh, I go to this extrusion tool, and I will just select it. I select the surface, and it uh, and it extrudes and it extrudes the surface. I hit enter, and now I can. I have two surfaces that I can work with. I'm just going to uh, lower them down, and select affinity, and uh, give some shape. Now it has some uh, round edges, so all what I'm going to do is. Uh, is to select the whole thing, the whole M, go to attraction and give and go all the way up to 100%. I hit enter and uh, now what I'm gonna do is uh, give a lot of subdivision. Uh, I'm gonna cut this M in as many faces as I can. I to do this I can just uh, maintain the control key on. And there we go. I have a lot of. Uh, it, it, it's been cut in many elements. Hit enter. I'm gonna fix this a little bit so it has more symmetry. Oops. And I'm gonna use a very useful tool, uh, which is this one over here. Uh, it's, a, it's called Sketch Curve. So. What it does is creates a line. I'm gonna make a straight line. I'll hit enter, and uh, I will go to this link, and I will select the M, and then my line. I would I want all of this, uh, all of this part, all of this um, surface to be linked to the line. So I just click on the box, on the all element selection. I hit enter. And then I can, and now you can see there's a magnet connected to the uh, stalling curve. I will select this one, and also the line, and I will select uh, manipulation. And as you can see, if I modify my line, my whole part modifies. So that's how uh, we made the M. Uh, so pretty much, you have you have to spend a lot of time doing this. So part will look as precise as possible and uh, I hope this uh, this YouTube video helped you and uh, I hope it will help you with your future projects thank you very much thank you very much